Hello, my name's Torin, and I'm the team leader for De Montford Racing 2015. Okay, we turned up on Thursday. First job was to get our pits area set up. We uh, then entered the static and cost judging events. There's the business logic presentation, the cost judging, and the design judging. Uh, today is Friday and we're mainly doing final preparation on the car before it goes to scrutineering with a uh, parade lap organised for half past five this afternoon which we intend to be there for. And then tomorrow is the dynamic competitions, the acceleration test, the uh, skid pan test and the sprint lap test. And then Sunday morning is the endurance test. Absolutely amazing, it's just so, so friendly, it's so chilled out, it's good. It's not too competitive. Like, there's a competition, yeah, but people are like friendly. They're willing to lend you stuff, and you lend them stuff. It's good. I think Everyone's it's, trying to help each other. It's fantastic it's really seeing good. what some of these teams are doing. Yeah. Like even though there might be another league in terms of where their car is, I think they they're very humble and they're very kind in Absolutely. terms of coming down and be like, oh, this is good. This is what we've tried. This is good. Yeah. So it's, it's definitely a fantastic thing where there's no there's no boundaries between teams, and everyone just kind of kind of merged together. It's fantastic. Yeah. The, the experience I gained from former year student was so important, mainly because um, it actually got me a job later on. So all the experience I gained here, it was just such an amazing experience, so I decided I had to give something back to the competition. So last year, yeah, I decided I was going to volunteer as a judge and try and give something back to something that had given me so much experience and got me a job in the long run. So I came to the competition, started judging, and I realised that I got so much more out of it from coming back and judging. And just from judging, I just realised I just loved the competition even more than I did to begin with. I actually came to this thinking that Formula Student was a UK thing. So I, I was expecting universities from up and down this country to be here. Um, but then, much to my surprise, I've seen, uh, I've seen uh, unis from the Czech Republic, from uh, Austria, from, from Poland, from Germany, from India, from all over the world. Um, so that's, that's really eye-opening as to just how much of a big event this is. Um, the work that everyone's putting in is stunning. Uh, the, some of the cars look absolutely spectacular. Uh, I was watching some of them practice a little bit earlier as well and I was blown away by the, the sort of speed and quality of, of the motor that these guys have managed to, managed to make. Uh, today we've been, do, in the morning we had to get through scrutineering which basically just checks the static of the car so you're looking at bodywork, safety, stuff like that. We completed that by about 10 o'clock, we just had some small top ups we had to do, a few of us came in this morning. And then after that we've been working on completing the tilt test, so it just makes sure that the car can tilt at 45 degree angle without any fluids coming out of it. That took us three tries due to an error on the filling tube but after borrowing it off another team, who sadly had to pull out earlier on in the event, we managed to successfully get through there. And finally, tonight, we're working towards completing the noise test in the morning. We're just having to change a bit of the wiring. Well, well number one, two, and three is that you learn a lot of things about, you know, just working on a project like this. Uh, an experience which you don't get, you know, just by learning uh, by the book. Uh, and you learn a lot about teamwork and about engineering and also just, you know, competing and doing your best. Okay, so we got to the noise test, um, ran through the first time. We were a few decibels over on idle and about 10 decibels over on, um, on the actual, when you have two thirds throttle, uh, which obviously we didn't pass with. We took it back to try and fix it, tried a few different things. Nothing really brought down the noise enough while allowing the engine to idle at a decent uh, throttle position. So we couldn't really do much about it, we didn't have a lot of time. And then it uh, really, really started raining. Um, so we couldn't, we couldn't get it fixed at the end of the day. So we had to run it back into the pits and call it a day. We're the only team from Pakistan to take part in Formula Student UK and this is our fourth year of participation here and it's been a great year so far. 
because this is the first time that we have cleared all the six tests of scrutiny. Last year we couldn't make it to the track because uh, we had some issues, but uh, we did five of the tests last year and we came 52nd out of the 106 teams that took part in the competition. And we were also the winners for IMEKI's Most Effective Communication Strategy Award. So this year the expectations were higher than before. And now that we've passed scrutiny, we look forward to hit the track and we hope to give an outstanding performance. It's been a very good experience, you know, coming here and seeing everyone who's been working on the same project, finding different solutions to the same problem, and you know, getting to speak to people about it. Uh, it's a big experience that you can't get at home, you know, just for a project of this scale with so many people. It's a great experience. It's well, despite anything else, it's always good fun. Um, here at the event, we've made lots of friends. Throughout the year we've learned a lot about how working in a team works, about how making the car, um, just, it's always good fun. Everyone's still smiling, everyone's still having a good time, even though we didn't get to actually compete. Um, we went and supported Stuttgart, a German team that we've been kind of talking to and fro back at the campsite and we've helped them out a few bits and they're doing really well, so um, yeah, it's still been fun. We're here today because at the Family Student event in Silverstone uh, we didn't pass the noise test, we were a bit too loud. And we wanted to bring the car to a track and test it for a day, make sure that everything runs properly and give people a go that have worked on the car, let them drive around a bit.